Hi, I'm Mark Davis, president of GBW Associates, home of GotBigWater.com. And we're here today to take a look at the Trident Automatic Air Primer. At, uh, at GBW Associates, one of our specialties is water supply operations. And we try to show uh, new and innovative products out there that are really going to help uh, the rural firefighting, in fact, any firefighting community. The Automatic Air Primer is by far the gold standard in today's primer from our perspective. Uh, it has a lot of features to it. Uh, in this video clip, we're going to take a look at the primer itself, talk about a few of the features. Then in subsequent videos, you're going to see a lot of different practical applications. So let's start. First of all, it's made of brass and stainless steel. There's no aluminum use, so it's going to be highly resistant to any type of corrosion. Only weighs nine pounds. It has no electric motor. The thing that I find most interesting about it is there are no moving parts inside this device at all. Unlike a rotary vane or a rotary gear pump, there is nothing in here to move. It's supplied by air from your air brakes. Uh, so it comes from a reliable supply. Your brake system has to have a reliable supply. It's fed by your air brake system. That's where it gets its air from, which of course is fed by the compressor on the, on the motor of your fire truck. It'll handle up to a 27-foot vertical lift. It will uh, automatically drain, so when you have it installed and you stop using it, it automatically drains. There's no uh, worry about freezing. There's only air going to the primer. Uh, there's nothing else. There's no lubrication inside. There's nothing inside that needs to do that. As I noted, no moving parts. Comes with a five-year warranty. It's low cost compared to the cost of replacing uh, rotary vane primers over time. Doesn't have to have an electric motor or clutch or belt drive. It is simply air, compressed air, passing through and drawing the water up into your pump. In other words, drawing the air out, creating a vacuum in your pump. Talk a bit about installation. Uh, installation, we can do new installations or retrofits or Trident can, whoever your uh, service company may be. Uh, about half the time, any high location will work. We'll show a video clip of a fire truck that has one installed. We want it high in the pump box so it gets all the air out of the top of the pump. Control panel is nothing more than a switch on the pump panel. No pull handle, nothing like that. And uh, it has the ability to go to gated intakes, multiple gated intakes. On a retrofit, doesn't require any wiring from the battery. It can be hooked up right to uh, the power supply that lights the lights on your pump panel or any other power supply that goes to the pump panel. Less space than a regular primer. I can install it in the station if I have a mechanic in my firehouse. Uh, there's been a number of those installed like that. And it'll go on any fire pump. It doesn't matter what brand manufacturer. Let's take a closer look at the primer. <clears throat> really just a few basic parts. This is where all the, all the good stuff happens in here. Inside here are Venturi's. Air comes in here from your air brake. It passes through to Venturi's and exits here. While it does that, it draws the air out of your pump. So this goes to your pump. This is your Y strainer. This would be fed from your pump. And basically what happens is it primes the pump this way. This is a solenoid connection uh, tied into your pressure switches. Your pressure sensors are what uh, basically tell this device in the automatic mode when and when not to prime the pump. It does have multiple air inlets so that I could have a number of suction intakes gated uh, so that I prime each one individually. So we're going to move outside. We're going to take a look at some practical applications of the primer, uh, take a look at an install, and then show some of the ways that it can be used.